Well, there are a lot of women who start planning their fairy tale weddings from the time they're little girls. Not me. But most men see popping the question as a huge risk. Today's guest experienced the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. So let's take a look. Amy is 21, and unlike the other guests on today's show, the baby was born seven weeks ago. Uh, she felt at 21 that she was too young for children. But Daryl thought this was a great idea and that the time was right. Daryl's 30? 30. He will be 30. Okay. <laughs> now that the baby is here, what's going on? Well, um, me and Daryl don't live together anymore. He doesn't have a job. He doesn't buy things for his son. He always has girls around, and he tells me that he wants to marry me, but he doesn't. And he'll tell me that he doesn't want to be with me anymore. But the next day, he wants to be with me, and he wants to get married. But he's never given me a ring, and we're not, we're not hardly together anymore. I love him very much. You feel like an outsider? Yes. In his life? Yes. My son's name is Daryl after his dad, and he has his last name. Okay, uh, the thing that was great was he said, being 30, he was ready to get married, ready to have a baby. Right. He wanted this, right? Right. In other words, he wanted a family. He didn't right. say marriage so much as he said family. Right. Okay, so how long have you been together totally? Um, like two and a half years. Okay. You should know, uh, now, when you say things went well, he took you looking for property. Right. We found a trailer to rent. The people told us we could rent it. We had the money. Right. Um, right. When we got the money out of the bank, uh, Daryl went to the casino with some of it and spent it so we didn't have it left to get a place to live. You save money, put it in the bank? Worked for it. Bought, we, he borrowed $300 from his mom. I had money from my dad and money that we worked for to save. And it's gone now. We don't have any money now. And now he lives with his friend. Well, wait, wait. Why? Why did he go to the casino with the money that you were going to use for... To try to win some more money. Did you tell him that... Did you know he was going to the casino? I didn't know he was going to the casino, okay. but I didn't want she him didn't to have the money, She didn't know he was going to sure. the casino. You no. are 30 years old. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You have a seven-week-old baby. Beautiful baby. He's eight no. weeks. Eight weeks. Yes. You got a girlfriend who loves you. I love you her, too. You have a girlfriend, and you love her. Yes. You are not ready to be married. No, not yet. Why? Uh, for, well, eh, 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 eh. for the simple fact is, um, Amy's 20, and like I say, there's 10 years difference here. And um, but you had a baby. Well, you had a baby. Well, I understand that, and I will take that commitment. But do I have to do it like right now? Are we financially set to do that? She look good, baby. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> she. Baby, she's beautiful, Isn't man. having a baby like a big commitment? It sure is a very big commitment. It is, and um, that's why I don't know if we're ready to make that commitment. I'm together. Um, Amy's still young. She has a little bit of growing up to do. That's all I'm saying, because I, I love her. But so do you. I do, I do. Listen, let me finish, y'all. Listen, what I'm trying to say, Sally, is um, I told this girl two, almost three years ago when we met that um, Amy, or we, we've known each other probably four and a half, five years, but I told her, look, um, and you can ask her, um, Look, I, I move a lot of furniture. I'm busy. I'm gone all the time. And uh, I know you got a lot of stuff you want to do because I've been there and done that. I was 20, 21, 22. I did that. And I said, now, look, you know, um, you're probably going to want to experience the same things. And wait, I wait, wait, wait. Hold it. You are saying that she's going to want to go out and experience the world. But so I she's... don't. I have your baby, and I want to be How married is she to going you, to I want to at least know experience that... the world while she's taking care of a baby? My well, son I try to has do my half too. Name. I love to keep my son. Bring him to me when I'm, I'll keep him. Go out, girl. I don't care. I gave my son his last name. I gave him his first name and his last name. And my last name is totally different than his. No, I, it's hey, not Sally, right. check it out. I was, you know, I, I mean, that's my first child ever, okay? And um, First of all, having a child is terribly, terribly... Uh, I had a baby the day before my 21st birthday. I was at the hospital having a child, okay. and I was turning 21. You are going to grow up real fast. Get with me. You're going to grow up real fast Thank you. because it's a very serious responsibility. I was there. But getting married is a serious responsibility. Exactly. I don't want to get married and get right, divorced two together. years from now. But if we stay together for two years, that's just a, you know, I mean, if we're going to be together for two more years, we might as well be married and be together for two more well, years. Well, why is that? I just asked this woman in the back. I hear you. I just asked this woman in the back. I said, um, 
look, is she out there dogging me or what? And she, um, and, 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 and I said, No, she know. wasn't. She wasn't. No, I, that's okay. You know, hey, there's always two sides she to every wasn't. story. And opinions are like Everybody's got one, all right? So I'm just a voice in mine, okay? I just brought you here, you know, that to tell you that if you don't marry me, that I don't want to be with you anymore because I'm not wasting my time. I hope you understand this is not something you do because you're on a television show. I understand show, that. I don't want that to be pressured like that. This is a very serious thing. Exactly. They are here. Everything is here. She feels, and she contacted us and feels very strongly, I'm going to give you something like 30 minutes to sit by yourself. I don't need it. I'll marry this woman. I love her, OK? That's not it. I will marry her. I love her, OK? I will marry her. If that's what it takes to keep her with me and to, to know that, that I, I love her and I want to be with her, I will. I will marry this girl. If that's what it takes, I will. Do you think it's mean when we uh, stop the tape just before you find out if the guest will say yes or no? Well, I want you to know this is not me. This is the producer's idea, and they do it all over television. Now, Daryl says that he was going to marry Amy, but will he actually go through with the wedding in keeping with the request of the producers? We'll find out when we come back. When we left off, Daryl had agreed to marry Amy, so we got her the dress, the flowers, and the minister. The question is, will Daryl actually go through with this? Of all the guys that were on yesterday's show, you were the one who wanted to get married, so okay. And we sent you off and you didn't arrive in time and all of this business. Now, I am shocked that they say news travels fast. I didn't know this fast. Yesterday, while you were busy getting all of your licenses, our producers were busy fielding phone calls. Did you call your home and tell people you were going to get married? My mom. I called my mom. And is mother the town crier? <laughs> so mom spread the big word do you I know guess. that they call, everyone in your town seems to have called us last night a lot of them don't think you two should be getting married it doesn't matter what anybody thinks I love her <laughs> Daryl said it didn't matter to him what anyone else thinks Wait till he finds out who someone else is. <laughs> Watch as Amy's friend Karen reveals a secret that I'm sure Amy did not want anyone to know. Could we please bring out Karen? Karen, yes, come on out. Is this her? It doesn't matter. Uh, is Karen your friend? Well, I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Karen, are you Amy's friend? Yes, ma'am. You've known her since 92? Yes, ma'am. You don't know her at all? Um, I've just met her once. Do you know him at all? Just met him once. Okay, talk to me. What's going on? Um, I talked to Amy's sister yesterday, Carrie. I know she called you guys. And I'm here because I think that Amy's doing the wrong thing. In getting married? Yes, ma'am. Why? <laughs> Hi. Be Wait. You know how they usually do in the wedding service where they say anyone who has any objections that these two be married? What are the objections? Because I don't think Amy's been faithful to Daryl. <laughs> To be true. Yes, ma'am. How do you you gotta let me find out. You know this to be true? How yes. do you know it to be true? Because I was there one and a half. Not there, but no, 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 no. I was in the house when it happened. When did it happen? Last Tuesday. Tell me what happened last Tuesday. We I hadn't seen Amy in a couple years and we were all partying and she and uh, a friend of mine well, were really partying. <laughs> yes, go ahead. A friend that we've known for a long time, Michael. Yes. They had sex. <laughs> Because they told me, she told me, he told me, 
No, I told you when Mike came to you and told you that, that I did not. And you said, don't lie to me, Amy, and I said, I'm not lying to you. When did all this happen, really? I went home that night with your car. No, not last Tuesday. You spent the night with the baby, and Michael took you home Wednesday morning when he went to work. You're going to see that Daryl looks a uh, <clears throat> tad but nervous. Wait till he hears what Michael, the man Amy is accused of sleeping with, has to say. Why would you sleep with a girl who's going to be, who wants we to get married? We didn't even sleep together, Sally. Sally, this I is had something no that idea that did. she was married. Did you sleep, was did you sleep with her? Yes, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> you need to go look his ass. Your mother. I'm better than that, Amy. I'm better than that. I'm better than that. My next guest also wants to stop the wedding, and for whatever his reason is, Brad, come on out. That's all you do. Brad, how did everybody in town find out they're getting married in New York? I really don't know. Why are you here? Uh, what is this about? There's a possibility that the baby might be mine. Oh! 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 So when that? did I supposedly sleep with you? Uh, about two weeks ago, for one. See, this Where? is bull Where? My house. Wait Where? a minute, I didn't hear. I when did Daryl she all Wait. the time. When did she sleep with you? About two weeks ago. The baby is how old? Nine weeks old. And then before the baby was born, you know, about I live with Daryl. Wait a minute. I was with Daryl all the time. Wait. If she slept with you two weeks ago, well, that she didn't make a baby. He was, set, he was no. five weeks old. It was before. I've slept with her twice. When was the other time? Uh, probably in about October. Well, do you no, think? That's, that's when was, when did you know she was pregnant? Yes, I did. Yeah, and I stayed Did you think the baby was yours? Uh, she told me there's a possibility it might be. She told you mm -hmm. that there's a possibility. The last time I talked to you was about my car. Was to get a windshield and some windows mm. for my car from your car, man. I don't know about this that. This is one. like my mom. It doesn't matter about your mom. Okay? Uh, do you? She told you she thought the baby might be yours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think the baby's yours? Uh, I, d I don't know. I'm here to find out. How are you going to find out? Uh, take the paternity test, I guess. Incredibly, Daryl decided he wanted to marry Amy regardless of the paternity results. So, without knowing if he was the biological father or not, Daryl and Amy were married. Daryl, will you accept this woman, Amy, as your wife, joining with her today in spirit, offering your friendship and loving care, honoring her growth and freedom as well as your own, cherishing and respecting her, loving and embracing her, in times of adversity and in times of joy? If so, answer, I will. I will. Will you, Amy, accept this man, Daryl, as your husband, joining with him today in spirit, Offering your friendship and loving care, honoring his growth and freedom as well as your own, cherishing and respecting him, loving and embracing him, in times of adversity and in times of joy. If so, now answer, I will. I will. May God's blessing rest upon you. May God's peace abide with you. May God's presence illuminate your hearts now and forevermore. Amen. 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 May I kiss you back. Okay. You take it. I love you. I love you.